Welcome back, everyone. This is Jurnitis bringing you seven days to honeymoon. Today we are starting on episode 31, and this will probably be the last episode. I'll be honest with you. Um, let me show you something real quick. I'm undetected. Let me show you my map. We finally found a large body of water. Um, I got aggravated and left home. I followed this. This is where I spent my first night. I followed this road down to a town that I didn't even bother to explore. Here's where I spent my second night. That is a barn. Um, and in the top of the barn was four barrels of oil. I then found a second town. Then I found this, another barn, with another four barrels of oil. And then I just got aggravated with following the, the road and just ran off out this way. And I have found a large body of water. And with this large body of water is sand. Lots and lots of sand. I am going to fill up on sand because we can't find a desert. It's just not going to happen. I mean, apparently deserts only exist in imagination land. But I'm going to... Oh, hello. Oh. Where did all you guys come from? They said hi. I thought I heard something. I was like, well, let me look around real quick. And I look around and it's like, wow, I'm kind of glad I looked. Anybody else? But yes, large body of water. Um, it seems that... Everything in the bottom of this is made of sand. So I can... Oh, no. I'm sorry. The bottom is clay. Bottom is clay and the banks are sand. So, yeah. That's a thing. Oh, not all of the banks either. This? Yeah, here's the sand. So anyway, I'm out of gas again. And being followed by my favorite people in the world. But I am actually digging sand and running faster. I'm moving faster while digging sand than a zombie is chasing me. Get lost. Alright, so what did I just do? I got clay that I don't care about. That means there's a lot of sand around here. And that's 93 sand. More sand. More sand. More sand. Okay, that's it for the sand. Now, the theory I have is that by bringing home enough sand, I basically have beaten the game for us. Um, just a second here, let's see. I am going to throw away the animal hides, and I am going to throw away um, antibiotics in ca in favor of bringing more sand home. Are you guys actually running across the bottom of the lake? And I would so not be able to hurt you like that. Anyway, uh, point being that we now have sand. Um, if I remember correctly, two pieces of sand makes enough glass to make a glass jar, I think. Um, if I am correct, and I think I am, uh, then I'm going to bring home enough sand to make, like, a thousand glass jars. Nice. The thousand glass jars will then make us um, all the fuel that we will ever need. And we will be able to do all the augering, and we will put on our mini bikes, and we'll be able to pretty much just do whatever we want. Um, sand was really the last thing that was holding us back at this point. So, this pretty much solidifies our place in the world. Uh, even if I run out of sand, I can always come back for more. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, this is like the furthest place of, I mean, who would ever think to have to come this far for sand? But, um, that should be enough sand for now. Um, let me check real quick. Sand, recipes, 
Wait a minute, sand makes sand? Uh oh. What? Do we melt the fine sand? The crushed sand? Or do we have to make sand and then melt the sand sand? And can I convert them back and forth? Let's see. Let's do this. I can make one stack of normal sand out of all of this crushed sand. But do I need the crushed sand or do I need the sand sand? That's a very good question. That's a question that needs to be answered before I start home. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know the answer either. Question is, have I made any? Ah, here we go. Normal sand. Okay, normal sand doesn't show any recipes, but you can craft sand into sand. Like the crushed sand into normal sand. So I've got to assume that you don't melt the, the fine sand, that you melt the other sand. Um, without an actual smeltery, I don't know the answer. Didn't you pass and a green roofed house? Yes, but I don't remember where it was, wow. and that was a long ways back. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep going until I run out of gas. And then I'm going to head home. Sounds like so, a plan. Oh, you guys are really uh, persistent. Yeah, that's the word I'd use while I'm chopping and they're coming up behind me. Well, the fact is, I've got the sand. <laughs> The sand is the winning point, and that's what matters. So, YouTube, we'll be back in a second when I get more sand. Alrighty, well, we're having all kinds of fun here. I'm hanging out on top of a house in pitch black nothingness. Um, just for reference, there is right here... That is a house with a green roof. The houses with green roofs have a... Um, a smeltery, well, it's not a smeltery, it's a forge. It has a forge in it. And I happened to, I'd seen it when running around this road earlier. And I was like, yeah, whatever, it's a house. I didn't care. But since I happened to come across it, uh, I went ahead and went in there and checked. And it turns out that this crushed sand makes glass. But if you craft this into sand sand, it is useless. I did not find any use for it whatsoever. So I stopped the crafting process, got as much back as I could. Somehow I have a 940 stack of sand because when I, when I stopped the crafting, it dropped 940 sand as one piece. So I don't know if it'll do that every time, but you know if you can force it to give you that, that'd be cool. So looking here... Uh, I almost made it back for the night, too. I mean, that's it, home, right there. I stopped and just jumped up on top of this house just to be safe. And, uh, so yeah, after this night, depending, I don't know how mini bikes handle off-roading. Um, if they can go off-road as well as they can on-road, then, well, assuming that they go decently on-road anyway, um, then I should be able to actually make day runs over here, get sand, and come back. Um, which is really irrelevant because we're gonna this this episode's gonna be it for, for this world. I just don't see a stay in. But I just wanted to let you guys know I'm here, I'm stuck on a house, it's nighttime, I will meet you back on horde night at the other or at the castle at home. Be right back. Okay, we're back. But just for a quick second, uh, I placed some more fires around. Some of them are running, as you can blindingly see. Yeah. Blindingly um, is right. This has three bottles of water left cooking. It's excellent. This one has 417 bottles left. I think maybe I should spread this out a little bit. Yeah. There's a witch who is... Uh... Not happy with her circumstances? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. This can cook 415. Just, just do 200 and cook. That's going to take 16 minutes. We'll switch over to this one. This one doesn't have... Oh, wait, no, there's... Oh, here bottom. comes dogs. Eh, whatever. Let them die on the spikes. We don't have time oh, to Oh, I'm going to watch them. They're going to be funny. Hey, why won't this let me cook on the spikes? Hey, oh, jumped into them. Reason, <laughs> Where's the one that has the extra wood? Turn off. Give me half. Turn back on. I love watching them die on the Ooh, spikes. Go up there and bottle of water. Cook. 
Come on, puppy. You know you want to jump in the spikes. Oh, it's a good puppy. Die. Good puppy. Heh, <laughs> stupid dog. But anyway, the fun. point is... As you can see, we have 192 cooking here. That one doesn't have anything. This one has 197. This one's cooking 126. Um, and we already have this many already cooked. Just a uh, point of reference, because, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to point out that we had all of these. Um, and by the way, we're still making bottles. Actively. Right now. Still bottling water. Because... Oh no, we aren't making any more, are we? No, we're done. Oh, you actually finished it. I finally finished it. Yeah, I wasn't going to say nothing though, because, you know, you were like, very enthusiastic about it. Well, I was. But, now we're going to go get the cornmeal. And with the cornmeal, we're going to start cooking grain alcohol. Uh, each one of these requires a beaker. Thankfully, we have quite a few beakers available. So, we have four fires. We can cook 465. We're just going to do 100 cook and 100 cook and 100 cook and 100 cook and at least you 65 here and my god i can't see anything i was gonna say i mean it, they look at mine it's like i'm being abducted by freaking aliens it's so freaking Dude, i'm bright. still i'm still turning them on like we have bottles and bottles and bottles of water left still. I know. I'm like, fixing to put some more in there when you get out. We're, we're going to have to, like, go spend a night in the old house because... It'll be the only way we can see. Right. Exactly. So, let's see. We're going to put this one at 35 more. Good that God. makes that total of 100 there. Oh, I'm still putting stuff in. I feel like I'm being abducted by aliens. Another 100 there and cook. Any fire that's not running. This fire is not running. This fire does not have a beaker. This fire now has a beaker. Grain alcohol, 100, run. I think I'll okay, go out so... there and spend the night with the zombies. Yeah, right? Uh, now, we still have bottled water. We're going to use this to make extra... God, I'm, I'm out of here. Good lord. Yeah, that's why I'm upstairs. It's not quite as bright. Uh, it's just like the cumulative brightness is It's just wow. So this is going to take roughly 10 minutes for each of these, and then we'll be using our biofuel here to make it into gasoline. And I just wanted to show you guys that before we come back here later. So when we have thousands of gasoline, and it, when we come back in just like half a millisecond for you guys, um, you'll understand why, because wow. Uh, I'm going to stay out of here and start working on... Dreamer. I need to go upstairs and get my stuff back, because... Holy crap, I can't even find this. Ah, I set myself on fire, unsurprisingly. Yep, those ones at I the really bottom of the stairs. Gone, I should have put a chest out in the middle of the the air in like the, the middle of the walkway out there in the middle of the road, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I should have put a chest out there in the middle of the road and like we could have just gone out there and done all this and <laughs> would have saved us so much trouble. But uh, that's fine, whatever. Uh, so YouTube, we'll be back in a minute uh, once I've set some things up, hopefully for Horde Night. So we'll be back. All right, we're back. Day 70 Horde, 2115. So it's almost 10 o'clock. And uh, real quick, just for fun, I'm going to give you the last tour. Um, bedroom area, nice windows. Still missing the one pane, forgot to make it. Got uh, the king-size bed that we hang out with and the sleeping bags, his and her personal storage chests that have basically nothing. Coffee! That's what I didn't have in my inventory. The coffee's coffee. in, in the uh, chest in the storage room. We've got the balcony here. Very nice balcony. This leads upstairs. Uh, for some reason, if you step on these pieces, they fall through the floor. Like, they don't support weight, and I don't know why. Because they don't like you. I say that, and then I can jump up and down on the one, and it does nothing. Whatever. That one holds weight. Anyway, storage area. Very cool. Uh, all the different supplies. Were we to play longer, we would probably need a bigger storage area. We would actually organize Grab everything. Grab your coffee while you're right here. What coffee? Coffee in the fireplace right there. Right here. Right now. I thought you made more coffee than that. I did. I made a stack for each of us. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is the cooking area. 
with the forages, and I wonder All if this is done the yet. Fires. Nope. I'm making more steel arrowheads for our journey. Alright, I'm going down to show off the panic room. Oh, you're going to get to the panic room before me. Yep. That's okay. And that'll get oh, to the panic oh, room oh, oh, before you. It's time, you. it's time, it's time, it's time. Okay, okay. And this is our panic room. Double doors. Sleeping bags to sleep in. And general we stuff, have just in case. And now I'm getting back, back up yonder. They're running out of poppin' pills. They're, what? Seriously. The whole horde is running out of the front door of poppin' pills. So you're saying we're getting mopped by addicts tonight? Oh god, yes. I hear them. It's the crack addicts. All right, you got. Are you set up for uh, repair? Yep. All right, you set up for repair. I'm here for damage. Get lost. Oh, hey. Aw, puppies. Now this is what I was expecting last time. Oh, we got a new naked guys. How you doing, ugly naked guy? Don't. Yeah, put your put the steel away. Put the way. I, mean, wait, I get forgot the steel that out I got the steel. Inventory. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna be doing the repairs, get out. Get the steel out of your inventory, guys. Yeah. All right. I'm like trying to shoot this one chick, like just the one. They are like congregating right here. <laughs> I know, right? Are you repairing the spikes? Yeah. Excellent. Quickly as I can. Let's remember I'm here though and not uh... Not a problem. I'm keeping close track of you this time. Big, oh, that one spike is almost gone, honey. Which? Oh, crap. It's down the wood. Do you have wood on you? Uh, no, I don't. Well, that spike's screwed, then. Oh, the lag level is horrible. Yeah, I just understand. Do we not have any wood anywhere? Not on me. I don't think there's any down here. I think it's all up stairs. Maybe I, maybe I could make it in time. What the hell? What? Exploding zombie. Ugh. That you got picked out last time, too. Yeah. To be fair. It's so laggy. Oh, it's man, okay. There we go. Gone. I finally got the respawn. Yeah, I just took damage out of nowhere, too. Uh, we're down two spikes already. The lag when they come in such numbers is horrible. Yeah. It is pretty bad. Alright, if you can go back to repairing, that'd be great. Yeah, let me get the stuff in my inventory. Because I just came back and I got nothing on me. Where's my wrench? With that hole there, dogs can get in, so. Ah, there goes that other spike. Alright, they're crawling in now. Alright, I'm coming. Did you manage to get the wood? Yes, I did. Do you want to repair that one spike that's down to wood? Yeah. Repair it now. Okay. Come on. Ah! Great, I got a dog. Ah! Uh, we're not going to be able to do anything about that spike. I have to keep repairing it, and you have to get repairing on it while I'm repairing it, and it just keeps going down. That wall's about to break. Oh, dude, that guy exploded down like everybody.
There's a dog who's trying to get in, but he can't get in because of all the bodies. Ah, dog on me. Dead. Don't worry about it. Put your armor on. Got a second. Oh, I blew that Feral's head off. Hey, fat boy. Huh. Bleeding out. I'm down a little bit of health. I keep exploding dogs. It's actually pretty damn funny. Come on. Ah! The lag is killing me. Yes, the, the lag is horrible for me, and I've... Oh, wow, I'm bleeding out. I was bleeding out, too. I didn't realize it. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, vaporize that dog. It's pretty funny when you vaporize a dog. Like, hey, look, a dog. Bang! And then he just, like, vanishes. Ooh, shotgun shells. Can you, like, drop the wood down in the, the chest in the chrono? Cause... Yeah. We could get one of those freaking spikes out. Back out. Oh, there's spikes in this chest, too, isn't there? Uh, no, just the little ones. Yeah, it doesn't matter. With all these bodies here, you'd never be able to place it anyway. You know what the really funny part is? And I mean absolutely hilarious part. What? Like, we're keeping the walls that are made of concrete repaired. And we have not let them go down a single block state of damage. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, they have three different 3,000 block states of damage. And they have yet to go down a single one. I just thought that would be, you know, worth mentioning. That is. Now I want to go. Oh, no. Don't, Don't step in front of you. Sorry. I don't know how you did not wind up dead just then. Yeah, that one back up. Like, the dog just appears in front of you right there. I mean, as soon as I see him, I'm killing him. But... It's so hilarious because they literally can't get to us because of the wall of other enemies. Dog. Good dog. Man, I'm bleeding out again. Yeah, that dog just vanished in a puff of smoke again. Oh, come on! I put on a bandage! It didn't take the lag. Oh, it's not even giving me the respawn right now. Yeah, right now it's, it's being problematic. Okay, here we go, finally. Wow, there's like four cops here. I was about to say, that dog is trying his best to get in here. I hope I don't, like, shoot your backpack. I, I have no idea what would happen. Not too. I have no idea what would happen, but... Okay, I'm gonna just pop down and re-equip real yeah, quick. Yeah, just go hang out in the panic room for now. This is, this is fine. This, this just further cements our we don't need to worry about our defenses or doing anything else anymore. And we, we are invincible. At this difficulty setting, I will say, we are on the easiest difficulty setting. We are invincible on easy. Okay, I, I can't take any damage without going to bleeding out at all. And I just used a bandage and it did not stop my bleeding out. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm sitting here at very low FPS. Yeah, mine's at nine. But I mean, realistically, I mean, we could just stand back and just phone it in at this point. Hey, I'll take that ammo. Wow, I was looting a cop and all I saw was a dog's mouth. I stopped looting the cop and squeezed the trigger and all of a sudden there was just a flash of red and nothing else was there anymore. <laughs> I walked up close and just pointed the shotgun straight at the ugly naked guy's crotch and just let it rip. Nice. There's two of them. I was just like, hey, I don't think you need those testicles anymore. So bam. He doesn't technically have them anymore, but by God, I'm going to make sure that there really isn't anything there. Whoa, you're here. Dog. Yeah. I started backing up trying to shoot the dog, and all of a sudden you were right there. And I was like, uh... I hit the dog with the wrench. Do you mind, lady? <laughs> this is a wall of bodies. I don't know what difficulty setting makes gore blocks a thing, but can you imagine if all these zombies' bodies turn into gore blocks? Oh, good lord. Dude, it would be hilarious. They would be blocking the path with their own gore blocks, and they would destroy them for us. Oh, that's true. They would be self-cleaning. I'm trying not to move around too much. That way. I, like there's a, there's two of them there, but like there's like nothing I can do here. Oh, undetected. I think we're done. Did you go get the big spikes so you can replace these? No. I got All killed right. before I could. I'll keep an eye out for a second. I'm gonna go disinfect myself and uh, yeah. Grab some. Oh, by the way, um, you guys might notice it's four o'clock in the morning and we can still see very nicely um i made the more of the spotlights and i now have a spotlight in each area hang on let me disinfect myself real quick just because need to disinfect yourself take a shower wow i had level two at that point because i had to take two honeys boil yourself Doyle myself. Boil. No, that's okay. I think I'm all right with that. Boil. Anyway, see, here's the spotlight right here. I know what you said. Oh, I didn't find those spikes, but I'm going to show off the spotlights real quick. As you can see, we got a spotlight in Whew. each wall pointed outwards, which lets us see very clearly, even in the middle of the night. Looking in on the base, they're really bright, but looking out is just great. I think the chest... Yes, here's the spikes. Are you prepared for upgrades? Almost. Yes. I am prepared to upgrade. Give it to him. Alright. Um, that's it. That is the All Lord. we have to do now, let me let me go out and look at the, the outside of this. I, I walked out there, but I didn't actually pay attention to what I was seeing. What is the external damage? Oh, hey, here comes a couple crawling guys. They're always late to the party. Oh, hey, they actually destroyed one of the big spikes outside, the secondary lair. So... All right, well, the secondary lair needs a little bit of work, but the fact that the secondary lair needs work proves that it does something. Um, so what we'll do is just repair that. Eh, you know what? We don't even need to care. We can just repair it. At this point, nothing is going to stop us. We are invincible. Without raising the difficulty setting, we're done. So um, let me real quick... Uh, in case you guys are watching my view and not... You know what? No. If they want to see the panic room, they have to watch your video. <laughs>
How's that? <laughs> well, I, I was in there you. several times. <laughs> I am forcing... Which, by the way, if we die, we respawn in the panic room. Did you open the chest? Did you show them what was in the I chest? I did. Excellent. So, yeah, if you guys have to watch her video, you guys will like what we did with the panic room. If we die, we don't have to panic. So, we're going to go ahead and make some more things here and prepare ourselves because we are going to ride off into the sunset looking for adventure and other greatness. So, we'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty, we are back. And look, we have a random horde yeah, coming to us. Yeah, I'm just watching them. They're just walking in a straight line. That's okay. We're, we're going to add insult to injury. Come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we have our mini bikes here. Uh, we went ahead and loaded them down. If we look here under the hood, I have 6,000 cans of gas, 10 first aid kits, 10 first aid bandages, 22 antibiotics, 21 splints, 45 T, 170 uh, stew, a sawed-off shotgun, and 250 rounds, plus what I'm carrying with me. We are ready to and roll. Are you ready to roll, baby? Tree. She has hers as well. I showed it. And now Please I'm tell on me it. you'll <laughs> be able to ride. God, I hope so. All right. Woohoo! No! Whoa! What is going on? Dude! Problem? Yeah! Come on, I'm riding past the zombies and, like, laughing as I go by. I'm running! What do you mean you're running? I mean I'm running! Dude! This is freaky! Are you running really fast? Um... <laughs> I'm running on the bike! I just ran over the zombie. Holy crap, this is fast. Ah, All right, shoot! Woo. All right, stick with me. I can't. I just ran into a wall. Hang on. What? I ran into a wall, okay? Don't run into walls. There's zombies behind you. Well, you know... I'm being chased by a bee. Are you with me now? Yeah, kind of. All right. Don't run into anything else. We got to get out of town. Ah, oh, thank God, the sound's finally muffled. We are heading out the northeast corner of town. We are in search of other life, because we may have a great place to call home here, and we do. But we can't repopulate the entire... I turned right at the end of the street. We can't repopulate everything with just me and her, because, you know, our kids and you and so on. So we're going to go forth and search for other life. Are you still with me? Yeah, kind of. Are you sh <laughs> I'm running! It's the most hysterical thing I've ever seen. I believe you. Well, we're going to go... Oh, <gasps> Wee! Oh, cool. We caught some air. No, 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 All no, right. no. That way, that way, that way. Okay. Are you with me? Sure. We don't have to go full speed until you get more used to it. Well, it would but help if I wasn't freaking oh, running. Okay. Okay, just pay attention to where you're going, all right? All right. Yeehaw! There's some way to beep the horn. Hey! Matt? Hello? Did you hear something? I did! What are you guys doing? <gasps> How do you stop? Okay. <laughs> hey! How do you hey, stop? look! We found life! Hey! Hey! You heading our way? You're driving better than I am! <laughs> what a noise! Yeah, I know. It's a bit messy. Okay, now I'm on it right. Yay! Yay! Well, cool. We found our first survivor. Yay. And off we go into the wild blue yonder. Come on. Help spread the gaming! Yeah, 